Gonzalez, G-O-N-Z-A-L-E-Z. -E Thank you. State, whenever you're ready. Ms. Gonzalez, are you here today to give a statement regarding Joaquin Oliver? Yes. Would you please do so? Before I open this, I am wearing Joaquin's t-shirt um, that he wore the night before you killed him. Um, and it says, if you can't read Spanish, it says, you with bullets, I with balls. And I just want to start with that. This is my protection. This is Joaquin with me. Crazy enough, he, he knew what was coming. Um, yeah. I don't know if you remember me, but we did have a class together the year before Hell Broke Loose. Um, I remember where you sat in the row next to me, a couple seats behind me, and I remember <sighs> Mr. Guard going around the room and every day we'd give a different answer uh, from the homework the night before. He wanted to make sure who had it. I remember every day when he would get to you, I was crossing my fingers under my desk thinking, man, I hope he has it today. Man, I hope he's doing something good for himself. Man, I hope, I hope that, that he's succeeding. I was rooting for you. Silently, in my desk, you had no idea who I was and I was rooting for you because I felt like you needed someone or you needed something and I could feel that, you know. Um, I felt how alone you might have felt, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. My softness has been my protection and um, maybe it's hurt me, but I've empathized with you and I've, I've blamed <clears throat> society for creating the hatred in you and I can't anymore so I stand here to say that that I do blame you not you alone but definitely you um, definitely a lot of people failed um, after that class every single day I met Joaquin after school and I thought about you and I didn't even know you and I thinking about how you could have been suffering. Little did I know, it was just foreshadowing. Um, but now I'm very alone. And I'm very isolated. And I can't make friends and I can't build relationships because I'm looking over my shoulder. Even emotionally, I can't feel safe. I can't trust people to take care of me. I'm alone all the time. I can't let someone love me. I ask for others to understand this pain. But how? How can anyone understand this pain? Why, why do I understand this pain? Why? Because of you. How can someone love a person who's afraid of life? That's how I feel. But Joaquin loved me for all of my flaws, for everything. He saw the capacity to grow. He saw that my brokenness made me whole, if that will make sense. He saw light shining through the cracks. But nobody else from then forward is allowed to love me like that. I won't let them. I don't have friends. I don't make them. Maybe people think that we're friends, but I don't feel safe. And that's because of you. But I do want to say, I miss, I wish, sorry, I wish that you met Joaquin. I wish, I wish, I wish that you met Joaquin because he would have been your friend. He would have extended a hand to you. He would have loved you. And I say that, and whoever's gonna be upset with me is gonna be upset with me, but he would have loved you as a human being, because you are a human being, and I'm gonna say that, and I know a lot of people won't say that, but you are a real life human being standing right in front of me. You're not some character out of a book, like a lot of people like to think that this is a fantasy, but you're a real person. And I'm sorry that you never saw the love that the world is capable of giving. That's something I've wanted to say to you from the day that this happened. Because the most painful part of this is knowing that the world holds so much hatred that can be funneled into one human being. Like, there is so much hate in your body. And I'm sorry for that. 
I would have wished you the love that I experienced before you led me to the experience of sitting in this courtroom and listening to a medical examiner tell me that my best friend's head was only held together by the skin of his scalp after you were done with him. That it was like a cherry bomb, quoted, like a cherry bomb went off in his skull. And I will live with that. And you will live with that in a different way. And I won't have to worry if you celebrate it or whatever you do with it. But the point is, I would have wished love for you. I would have. And I want to, because that's who I am. But I can't. And I'm sorry that your heart knows nothing of warmth. I would have wished that for you, and I will say that again. My justice does not lie in knowing if you live or if you die. My justice knows lives in knowing that I loved because I experienced a love that a lot of people go their whole lifetimes without experiencing. Joaquin loved me entirely with his whole being, and um, I choose love. So in the end, I think that I win. I think that I win because I will continue my life honoring something that people believe is a fairy tale. And it's not. This whole thing is so real life. The love that Joaquin gifted me will last my lifetime. It will last many lifetimes. And I'm proud to stand here and say that. And you showed me the importance of love and that I need to celebrate it and that I need to preach it and that I need to wake up every day and make someone smile so that they don't go through the world feeling like you did or you do. I don't wish that for anyone. And I wish that it didn't bring you to what you did. I wish that you had more love in your heart, and I want to say that. No matter who will hate me for it, I wish that you had love in your heart. I wish that. And on behalf of Joaquin, you may have taken my body, and for that, fuck you, but you cannot take my love. And that is all I have.